Okay, it's been a while since I've made a bow and arrowhead video. So let me start from the beginning again. Uh, I get my cow bone from PetSmart. It's a white, large, bleached cow bone. I'm not sure how much these go for these days, maybe about $6. And uh, I usually make arrowheads from the endings, from the ends of the bone where it's thinnest. Now the middle section is thicker, much thicker. This is a middle section out of one of these bones. You can see the difference in thickness. I make arrowheads out of this because you don't have to grind it down to thin it very much. I'll zoom in here and show you the process. I'll demonstrate it. These are just some chunks that you can get from bones like this. You can make various things out of this. Arrowheads are just one thing you can make out of this bone. You can make uh, tips for your pressure flaking tools for flint napping. Uh, you can you can make beads out of it. Uh, all kinds of things. Okay, I'm going to switch switch over to uh, cutting out some arrowheads from the thin portion of the bone. Okay, I'm going to turn the saw on in a minute. I just want to show you some uh, some deer bone. This is deer bone for comparison to the uh, cow bone. And this is elk leg bone. This is deer leg bone. The elk is pretty thick. Deer can get thick on some of the larger bones also. Now this bone or these bones have been boiled to get the uh, the flesh off and uh, to make the marrow soft and easily removed. But when when you do that, it gives it sort of a translucent quality because the oils from the marrow and from the uh, the flesh that you're boiling in the pot of water penetrate the bone and give it this uh, kind of a golden color as opposed to this bleached bone here. This bone is is uh, I'm not sure exactly the process from that they use to remove the flesh from these bones, but it's not from boiling or cooking. I just want to show you that as a comparison. Okay. I just cut in about an inch and a half or two inches. Gonna fit underneath. I'll cut another one about an inch wide or a little more than an inch. Probably a little bit less than an inch. I gotta make an adjustment to the saw. But anyway, well, we'll just work with this piece first. I'm gonna go over to the uh, belt sander. 
you can see that, uh, it's, it's porous at the end of the bone so it's going to be thinner the hard part of the bone is thinner here on this end than it is on that end so when we're, when we're grinding it it's going to be tapering from thick to thin and this will be the point of the arrowhead now if I, if I wanted to I could cut diagonally through here and make two arrowheads one kind of thick in comparison to the other this if I cut it diagonally through here this one on this side will be relatively thin compared to this one unless I want to thin them both down to the same thickness anyway I'm gonna go over to the uh, sander okay I'll be working on the uh, rounded end of the sander and what I'll be doing is I'll be thinning this down first on the uh, on the rounded part it's a lot easier to thin it down on the flat part but it's easier to hold on the rounded part so I'll, I'll flatten it thin it down then shape it into a triangle and do a uh, concave base on this and then I'll use uh, another tool to uh, do the notches
Okay, so what I did was I thinned it down. I think that's about an eighth of an inch. Tapers down a little bit to less than a sixteenth. Made a triangle. Bevel the edges to put an edge on it. Now this edge can be sharpened a little bit more later with uh, sandpaper. I put a little flute on both sides so that it's easier to haft. I left a flat spot for the bottom of the notch for the arrowhead to sit in more firmly. And uh, the only thing left now is to do the notches. I don't know how well that white bone looks. You can do this with hand tools but it's not going to take seven and a half minutes. Uh, it'll take a lot longer. But I think you get the idea. I'm going to go over to uh, use the uh, Dremel tool, I think. Okay, I can't seem to find my Dremel tool, so I'm going to be very careful and uh, try to do the notches on the bandsaw. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, you can go in here and uh, put little flutes on each side of the notch to make it look more like it's flint nap, but uh, that's about it. The, uh, the top of the shaft goes right about level with the notches and when you put the sinew or the string or whatever you use to wrap it, it'll make an X right here across the uh, the shaft. Now uh, let's see. I'm gonna get the scale so I can weigh it. I don't know if you can see that. Fifty two grains, fifty four grains, fifty four grains. If you want a hundred grain arrowhead, it'll have to be about twice as big as this. This is about two two and a half or two and a quarter inches by seven eighths. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm curious to see how close I was on the measurement. It's uh, two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. Pretty close.